Trevor in Winter Park, Florida, on the latest Something to Wrestle with Bruce Pritchard, they talked about Jim Ross, and in particular, the Dr. Heine skit from 2005 after JR was, quote, fired on TV and then had colon surgery. Vince McMahon played the doctor in the skit and pulled various objects out of JR's ass, and Bruce defended it on his show as something done out of love and respect for JR, and not something meant to be mean-spirited. What is your take on the segment and Bruce's defense of it? JR talked about the skit at length just recently on his new podcast with uh, Conrad Thompson. As an aside, I really like the new format for JR's show with Conrad. I don't watch, I don't listen to any of these shows consistently. I don't have my own sort of rotating schedule of podcasts. I just don't. I don't have time. I just don't. Uh, I catch them when I can. If I hear that JR and Conrad or Bruce and Conrad or, or Jericho has an interesting guest on, or like Austin. Austin's going to have Hogan on his show this week. I'm probably going to tune in to listen to that. Very rarely do I listen to you know all of their shows consistently. But I did listen to JR's new show. And I only listened to the one so far on the uh, 2008 draft where he talked about Dr. Heine as well. And I find it a thousand times more interesting than his old format. Just him talking about these old stories. And he was in the trenches. You know, he was one of Vince's right-hand men for so long. He's got a lot of war stories. He's got a lot of stories, some of which, most of which he's probably already told. Or he, he told in his book. But there's a lot of stories and a lot of things that he probably hasn't even said before. So it's fascinating to hear him go back and talk about that stuff. I just find that far more appealing than whatever he was doing before he would have people on and he just sounded very disinterested so let me just say that but he talked about this just recently himself on his own show and he was the one who went through it and from his perspective put it this way he said that his daughters stopped watching the show around that time it might have been right after the dr heine stuff his own daughters just stopped watching he had conversations with his wife where she would ask him why why does he do these things? You've worked for this company for so long. They pay you well. There's a lot to be thankful for. But why does he do the things he does? Why do, the, the things he does to you, the things he says, the way he embarrasses you. You're not a wrestler. It's not like you're going to get your comeuppance one day like you know a wrestler would be able to in a big match, a big blow-off. Why does he do these things to you? And he, he didn't know. He didn't have an answer for her. Ross himself said that it was mean-spirited. That's how he took it. He said it was absolutely mean-spirited. So Pritchard can say that it wasn't, but Jim Ross himself says it was. Pritchard may think there was no malice behind it. This is just our sense of humor. This is Vince's sense of humor. Well, that may well be true. Maybe they didn't conceive of the idea with the intent of hurting his feelings. That does not mean that the segment does not come across to most people as being mean-spirited. It absolutely was. Of course it was. JR said he gets a call from Vince. He just got home from the hospital. He's all doped up still on morphine. He almost lost his life. This could have been a life or death situation. And he made it through. And he got home and he's all hopped up on morphine. And he gets a call from Vince McMahon. Vince says, we got a little something special for you. Tonight on Raw. I think you're really going to like it. And he thought, okay, great. It's probably like a get well JR type of thing. Maybe a montage of people wishing him well. Vince never told him what it was. He just told him to tune in. So imagine his surprise when he actually saw it. He actually said he fell asleep before the segment even aired. He, he watched it after the fact. He had already fallen asleep because they did it so late in the show. They gave that segment prime real estate towards the end of the show. He fell asleep and didn't even see it live. Mick Foley was there. Mick Foley said that people's jaws in the back dropped backstage while they were watching the segment. And he said the only person, this is what Foley said. Foley was, he did this interview years ago. And he said the only person who found that segment funny, at least in the back, was Vince McMahon. 
He was the only one laughing. So there's another reminder for you. Never forget that these shows are written for an audience of one. They're not written for me. They're not written for you. They are written to entertain an audience of one. And if what he happens to like happens to be the same thing that I like and that you like, well then, hey, that's great. Everybody wins. But if not, it doesn't matter. It's written for an audience of one. You hear, you hear these stories all the time. The writers are afraid of their own shadow. They have great ideas. And they're not allowed. Or they feel they don't have the opportunity to break through. They have to write TV a certain way because they're writing their TV to appeal to their boss. So we get what we get on TV. How many times have we heard ex-writers say this? We've got great ideas. We've got a lot of talented people who worked for WWE at the time. But we were writing for an audience of one. So I hear Pritchard say that. I hear this, that it wasn't mean-spirited. And just his full-throated defense of what they did. And it's typical corporate yes-man bullshit from Bruce Pritchard. That's all it is. Typical corporate yes-man bullshit in the bubble. Probably shares the same sense of humor that Vince does. How could you not? You know, he's hung around Vince off and on. He's been in and out of the company, but for what? The better part, part of 25, 30 years, he's probably worked for Vince McMahon. Now he's back with him again. By osmosis, he probably has become Vince McMahon. How could you not, being around that guy for so long? He is one of the very few people who I think would watch that segment or watched it back then, who came out of it thinking, what a great segment. What a really funny, great segment. What a great tribute to Jim Ross. We'll impersonate his colon surgery, and we'll have Vince McMahon pull a bottle of a barbecue sauce out of his ass and pull a an OU helmet out of his ass and pull a, a stone cold sippy cup out of his ass and then pull his own head out of his rear end. And I'm sure there's a message in there somewhere. But it's not mean spirited. It's out of love and respect. Go fuck yourself. <laughs>